Find a good spot, buddy. Find a good spot. Come on, find a good spot. It's far too cold out here to just be walking around. Oh, it's too cold. Come on. In the house. Maybe it's like zero degrees outside, literally. Come on. There will be other opportunities in your life to explore snow. I hope. I promise I will get you to places if you like it. Come on. You seem to really like it, but we got to go inside. Baby, come on. Come on, Ollie. Let's go inside. You've done both. Come on. Let's go see Nana. Are you going to lay down? Yes, he's circling. Not cuddling. That, that will never happen. That's, see, that's not cuddling? I'm pretty sure this counts as cuddling. That's tolerating. That's cuddling. <laughs> One-sided cuddles. Just try to keep him from strangulating your doggy. Look at them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's cold, Oliver. What a spoiled baby. I was wrong, Mom put that over him and he slept it there. Talk about a spoiled dog, she brought his food bowl there. I know. What an angel. What? You wanna give a kissy? Give, mm. give Nana a kissy. <laughs> <laughs> Not open mouth. <laughs> I can try. Baby, come here. All right, I'm, gonna go to the shower. I'm gonna have to eat something. Ah, hello. I won't be very long if you can't. Oliver, stay in here. Come back. <laughs> come back. You're trapped now. Ha ha ha. Okay, but really, I have toys. Whee! I also have your breakfast and water. Aren't you hungry? What if I put some in your puzzle? Because you're spoiled. What if I put some in your puzzle? Because you're spoiled, huh? This is gonna be a hard day not to walk you. You've got so much energy. So much energy. Oh my goodness. All this energy. You're so excited for Christmas, aren't you? It's in two days. Two days. Anyhow, good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. It is Christmas Eve Eve, which is absolutely bizarre to me. This month has flown by. It's been very fun though. I am laying back on the bed right now because otherwise it looks like this. Oh, actually that's not so bad. If I like lean like this, it'll be okay. I sh this is like kind of awkward. Maybe if I scooch back on the bed. Oh, anyways, the sun coming in from outside is very blinding because it snowed last night. If you saw yesterday's video, it snowed last night and it is so cold. I think maybe it's above zero degrees now, but I'm not sure. It was negative four when I took Oliver out at like six something in the morning. So I just put him on the extendable leash <laughs> and I was still in my pajamas, but I knew he had drank a bunch of water before bed. So I just like extended the leash all the way and then <laughs> let him go out the front door with his coat on um, just to pee and then come back inside immediately. I was like, yeah, he wanted to explore. And I was like, you're gonna die. Like you're gonna get frostbite and die, get back in here. So then he was patient this morning while I wallowed in bed <laughs> um, just because I was reading and I was reading because it was too cold to take him outside and I don't want to be cruel and not let him go out but I also don't want to be cruel and have him out there in like unsafe temperatures you know so he was fine and he just went back to sleep for a while and took a couple took a couple naps got up stretched took another nap and then I finally just had him outside I mean it's only like 9 a.m. or something by the time I got him out again but I just uh, wanted to get it so it was maybe at least zero degrees you know I don't think that's too much to ask for so it's gonna be cold today I think the high is nine degrees and tomorrow and the next day it's supposed to be in the 20s for Christmas Eve and Christmas and then finally getting back up into the 30s just in time for me to leave and then hopefully Florida will be slightly warmer than the 30s because you know I like seeing snow but I think I'd prefer snow if it was like 31 degrees you know just below freezing so whatever it's very beautiful out there and I'm happy to look at it, but I'm also happy that I have indoor activities today. But this puppy is gonna be going nuts. He's already got so much energy this morning, so I was just playing with him, because he doesn't wanna eat his breakfast, he just wants to play. And it's just too cold to walk him. Like, I don't want to make him be in unsafe conditions. I don't think nine degrees is an appropriate temperature to be walking your puppy, personally. I don't know, I'm not a vet, but that sounds logical, I think. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Definitely gonna wrap some presents today. Hopefully decorate some cookies, maybe watch a movie. We'll see, but we're mostly just staying inside today because it is so, so unbelievably cold out there. And I know it gets colder other places, but I feel like once you're in the single digits or below zero, I think it's, you know, acceptable to complain about it. You know, that that's cold wherever you are. 
Um, and I don't know how people who live further north do this all the time. I'm, you're a different breed. I'm proud of you, but I'm amazed and it's not me. I'm meant for, sometimes in Tampa it's cold enough that I'm like, I did not move far enough south. So anyhow, I will take you along for the day. Good morning, happy Vlogmas, Merry Christmas. We're almost there and I will see you guys later. This was the best solution we could find so that he wouldn't eat the wrapping paper. This is made for children, um, but I think he will enjoy playing with the toys too. <laughs> You're such a trooper, baby. <laughs> so as you can see, my first Christmas as a mother is going swimmingly. Puppy jail. Are you in puppy jail? Puppy jail. to wrap this box. I'm wrapping upstairs. Oliver is in the playpen downstairs. My mom is wrapping downstairs. I can help her wrap once we're wrapping other people's stuff, but right now I'm wrapping my parents' gifts, so I have to do it up here so they don't see what I'm wrapping. Um, but I had this box out to wrap and the paper was too big, so I wrapped this other thing that was smaller and then it was still slightly too big, so I, I trimmed off little bits so I can wrap some little stocking stuffer stuff. With that, okay, I have made progress. I have a few things wrapped for my dad. I haven't put labels on anything yet, so I just have piles that I have to keep track of. And then I have a few things wrapped. Well, these are for my mom. And so is this little pile of stuff. That's for my mom. I have a few things wrapped for friends and my granddad. Something over here is wrapped for Nana. So I've, I've got through some wrapping stuff, but Back in the day, if you're old enough to remember, if you're old enough, well actually there's a large population that could be watching YouTube right now that is probably not old enough to remember when stores still gave you free gift boxes. Like it used to be if you shopped at JCPenney or whatever, you could just ask for gift boxes and they'd give you like the white boxes that fold up or whatever. Um, but then I think even by the time I had started working at JCPenney, we had some maybe left over, but they weren't sending it corporate, like wouldn't send more. Um, it was just like a cost cutting, environmentally friendly thing, you know? Um, but now you can buy them at Walmart, as many of you probably know. So this one says like Merry Christmas, and this one has Santa on it. Um, so they're nice, you know, and it's nice that they're already colored. So like in theory, you don't have to wrap the box once you put it in one of these gift boxes. They could, you could just give it to somebody and they could open it. Um, but I really like unwrapping stuff. It's just, I always have, and it's just, I, I just like shredding paper, okay? I, oh my God. My dog really is just like me. Um, anyways, <laughs> but that's what I wanna know. Tell me in the comments. Do you think if you get these boxes that you should still wrap them? Or do you still wrap them? Or are you on team, it's already patterned, just give them the box. Because I'm on team wrapping, but like I totally understand if somebody didn't wrap it for me. But I prefer it wrapped. Just let me know, I'm curious. Okay, also I have to show you because I'm about to wrap these. And if you know what these are, don't comment until after Christmas because I don't know when I'm gonna see my friends and I also got one for my mom um, But this came shrink wrapped I, and I got these too and when I first got mine I opened it up and I was like what on earth is this is that it wasn't until you de shrink wrap it You're like, oh, yeah, that's what I ordered But um, I just thought it was really funny It's something that doesn't really make sense for me like in my opinion to shrink wrap and it's not like heavy or anything either But I left it shrink wrapped because I thought it was really funny and also there's no tags on them So that way people know it's not used but um, this is just hilarious to me to have a shrink wrapped present. So I will wrap these, but it's just funny. I have to remember to bring scissors when I meet up with Kristen and Elizabeth so that they don't have to not be able to open those. <laughs> nothing quite as satisfying as when the paper lines up and then nothing quite as frustrating as when it doesn't line up the whole way. I could only get one or the other, so I settled. Hello. I am sitting in like extended child's pose right now because I'm so sick of sitting on the floor. Um, I'm gonna be able to get up soon. I have seven more things to wrap, or eight if I wrap these two things individually, but I think I might just wrap them together to speed up the process. Um, I have made a lot of progress. I've wrapped like, I think I've wrapped 21 things so far and I only have seven more to go. So, I'm almost there, we're almost done, but I'm getting hungry. I don't know what time I started, but it's 1.17. Um, which also means Oliver needs to go out again. Uh, he's still downstairs in the playpen. But, okay, 
I need to, maybe I'll just take a break. Man, I really wanted to get this done before lunch though, because then I wouldn't have to think about coming back to do it later. All right, I'm gonna do it real quick, and then I'm gonna take all of her out, and then I'm gonna find food. But by the time I find food, it's gonna be like almost dinner time. This is chaos. <laughs> Christmas Eve Eve chaos. Oh, also, I just found out that Kristen is not coming to town until next weekend. So now I've gotta figure out whether I'm gonna be able to stop in Nashville and see her on my way back to Tampa. That is the chaos of growing up and everyone coming home at different times. Okay, now I'm going to move to a different stretch while I wrap the rest of these. <laughs> So I don't remember when I last talked to you, but after the wrapping extravaganza, we ordered in some Bad Bob's barbecue, which is my favorite barbecue. Was very happy to eat that. And then went next door to visit my grandparents. We weren't sure if we were gonna make it over today because it's so cold, um, but we had to take the dogs out anyways and it's a really close walk. So we just walked over there and um, Oliver was running all around trying to get in every trash can. So we had a nice little visit next door, played a game upwards with my granddad, and then my brother FaceTimed us. They just got to Chennai, India today. Um, and got to see around their hotel room, which was cool. And then, yeah, we just got home. Oliver is eating dinner now, and I just can't believe where the day has gone. It's like five o'clock, 5.30 something. Um, so my dad made chili today, so we're gonna have that for dinner in a little bit. But we had a pretty late lunch, so I don't know what time we're going to eat that. Um, and my dad's like, oh, I want to watch a Christmas movie, and I want to watch this holiday thing from Murray State. And my mom was like, oh, and I wanted to watch these home videos that somebody copied over for us, and my mom's cousin copied over for us, um, like onto digital. And I'm like, I would love to do all of those things, but I also have to edit a video, and <laughs> I think there's more gifts to be wrapped. Um, I know I remembered two of the ones I brought that I had forgotten to wrap, so I need to wrap those, and whatever, so. It's okay, it'll all get done, but it's just amazing that I've been here for over half of my visit now, and the I have Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day left before I have to head back to Florida. So, it's just wild. There's no way to fit in everything, but it's okay. Um, it's still been a very good visit. I'm gonna edit this video now from yesterday, and then I'm gonna head down and see if my parents need help with anything um, with dinner, and then if they need help with anything else. But I'm also just so tired. Like, I've obviously not been sleeping well. I think I've mentioned every day, like, oh, I didn't get enough sleep last night. So I, I never sleep, like, quite as well when I'm here. Um, but also, I think the cold air today is just the kind of, like, super duper cold where your body is exhausted trying to, like, stay alive out in it. It just kind of, like, I think, you know, freaks your body out. Um, so every time I've come inside, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just need a nap so bad. So I'm not gonna be able to stay up super late tonight either, but that's okay. And then I'm hoping that church service can still happen tomorrow night for the candlelight Eve, Christmas Eve cantata that we usually have. Um, but the high tomorrow is only 20 something. So we were saying though, it should be a white Christmas because it's only supposed to be in the 20s tomorrow and the next day and then only in the 30s on Christmas. So there's probably still gonna be at least some snow on the ground for Christmas. So that'll be neat to see. Um, I don't know if that counts as a white Christmas. I guess so. I always thought a white Christmas like it was currently snowing on Christmas, but it will be white outside on Christmas, so. Good enough.
We have one cocker, two cocker, red cocker, blue cocker. <laughs> Good night from Ollie and I. Um, I just had him out again. It was four degrees. Um, quite cold. We watched some home videos after our chili dinner and also watched the Murray State Christmas holiday concert stuff recording. It was cute to see, so the videos we were watching were from Christmas of 1996, so I was six months old, about seven months old, I think. Um, and it was just very cute to see. So I was like, Oliver, I was younger than you are. <laughs> um, but that was from my grandparents' house in Cincinnati and my mom's cousin copied those over for us to digital last year. I think it was last year, maybe it was this year. Um, but we enjoyed watching through some of that. And there's a couple more on there that are labeled Christmas of various years. So we'll have to, we watched about half of the 1996 one tonight. We'll have to watch some of the other ones um, in the future. So I'm going to sign off for the night and say good night. Happy Vlogmas, Merry Christmas. And tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So I will see you in the next one. And then the next one, and then there'll be a break. Hopefully not another year. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next one.